So one thing I want to talk about, if you know anything about my story, you know that I've sat out on a bench like this for about five years out of my career. So I retired at 30, and if you accumulate all the time I miss from my two surgeries, my two other injuries to my elbow, my time off my shoulder, uh, getting mono in college, there was a lot of times when I was sitting the bench and I couldn't do anything about it except for watching my teammates play and trying to be the best teammate I could. And I'll be perfectly honest, um, there were a lot of times when I just did not feel like cheering for my teammates when I knew I wasn't going to see the field in a year. And it gets really, really hard. And I know coaches talk all the time about being a good teammate, and it really is an essential quality. And so what I want to discuss for a moment is just how you do that, because honestly, it's hard. And again, if anyone knows what it's like to sit the bench while everyone else goes out and have, has fun, it's me. I know there's a lot of other people um, from all sports who've had multiple injuries, surgeries, taken many years off, and it's tough on everybody. But for me, I think the uniting quality was that I knew I belonged out there. And with that, I knew it was just a matter of time and that one day at a time, if I could get through today and still enjoy the sun and still enjoy the camaraderie and being around my buddies and hopefully seeing them do well, that if I just continue to piece them together, um, and kind of put one foot in front of the other, I'd eventually get back out there. And I know for young players, and for especially for parents, I know there's coaches now that they start a new youth team so their son can play every inning or every game now. Um, but it's, it's a valuable process sitting on the bench. The time spent on the bench is not wasted time. Now, players do need their reps, they need their innings, they need all of that, but at the same time, um, I learned a lot about appreciating the game. I learned a lot about my work ethic and what I had to do to stay healthy. I learned the value of preparation because every time I worked harder, I still ended up back on the bench. So then the question was, okay, well, what do I need to do now? I'm putting in the work. I still get hurt. I still get back on the bench. Like, like, and you, there, it's, there's tons of times in life where you can take that mentality of woe is me. Like I've done the things I deserve to be out there. But that's not really how life works. You don't deserve really anything. Like, nature is cruel. It just doesn't really work that way in sports. In sports, the herd continues to move on, and you just try to catch up as best you can. Now, I always knew for myself that when I got my chance, I could catch up. So when they gave me, you know, like, they unshackled me, I could run, and I could catch the herd. But you just have to, some days, um, really try to put on a happy face and really try to like, make yourself go up there and give your teammate a high five because I'll just be perfectly honest there's a lot of times when I just didn't want to do that and to act like oh, we're all oh, I'm a great teammate and it's just easy to like I'm going to support all my buddies even though I'm not going to play for six months it's really hard to do that and it's special when you get a young athlete or even an old athlete who genuinely still can be happy for his teammates when they're out there at the very least you just want to contribute positive energy to the team, a positive energy to everybody else, because you'd want that for yourself when you sit on the bench. But I just know that being around the game always helped, even though it was sometimes more disappointing to see it right in front of me and not being able to take part. Um, but you just have to like keep your head up. I know that sounds super cliche, and it is, but it's just a one day at a time thing and then as soon as you're back on the field, you forget about all that time. Like, you know that you spend a lot of time on this bench, but it's a learning process. And parents, your kids are not going to be the star. They're not all going to be the CEO of the company. I know millennials now are worse than ever as far as feeling entitled and thinking they can climb the corporate ladder in their first year. Uh, but in reality, time spent on the bench, being a, playing a supporting role, being a good teammate, and trying to put on a brave face and kind of grind it out even when you're not the star or you're not playing at all those are important things because when you spend time on the bench you learn okay maybe some of the choices I made if I had worked a little harder I could be out there or maybe if I had done a little bit more I could be out there or maybe if I had worked harder in practice or been a better teammate I could be out there there's also there's a lot of reasons players sit the bench right and parents you shouldn't be fleeing your teams just because your kids sit a little bit sitting is an important part of the game Playing a supporting role is an important part of the game, and all that prepares you for later on in life when you're invariably going to take an entry-level job and you're invariably not going to be the star at every new thing you try, right? So take a lesson from me. The bench is not always easy, but for me, the bench was a pretty major part of my journey and one that I, I really wouldn't change.